discussing metal, or as the Africans refer to it, as, as mineral. So, the Chinese refer to this element as metal, and uh, at least the Dagara in West Africa call it mineral. And uh, let me see if I can secure this a little bit. And my Taiji instructor, Sung Liang, refers to it as Jing, and that means gold, gold or essence. That would be the highest form of metal. And so that speaks to the nature of when you're really your best in metal, you're gold. You have the quality of gold. So that, so that word would be Jing. Now, the Chinese words often have three to anywhere from three to five or even upwards meanings. In this instance, we're using it as gold. Key words with metal. Truth. Cutting to the truth, the sword. Clarity. Working with the feeling of grief or sadness. Storytelling. The mineral people in the Dagara tradition are considered the storytellers. And so anyone with the numbers, if your number of the year that you were born is either four or nine. You are a mineral or metal person according to the African uh, tradition in West Africa. So this would be number of four or nine. So for example, if you were born in 1954 or 1949, this would mean that you are a mineral person. Uh, traditionally, you would be the person that would hold the story of the village um, you would, perhaps in uh, American terms, you might be looking up your ancestry and helping others to look up their ancestry and then relating the story of that. Otherwise, this gets lost. And so uh, to, uh, now they say the, the second largest uh, website with the number of hits is actually genealogy. So that's how interested people are. I won't say what the first one is, but the second one is genealogy. Um, the other uh, key words are holding on, the ability to hold on or to have, because part of what you're working on when you're going through the cycle of metal is the ability to have things, to allow yourself to be deserving and to have abundance. So hence, we, uh, one of the oils that we're going to be using is abundance. But the other one, what, what we were finding out when people would simply use the oil of abundance, that wasn't enough. We had to add acceptance. So you want to, and where would you put it? Probably on your wrist or your hands. And you could also put it on your feet. So you're walking forward with abundance and acceptance. And this is not just material wealth, but that's part of it. Because some people think that having prosperity or having wealth is a dirty word, and that's not the case. It's what you do with it. The other key word, well, let's go holding on and letting go. The other aspect of abundance is sharing. And those that are balanced in their metal are often humanitarians. So this is one of the archetypes, is the humanitarian. And please help me if I spell something wrong. Um, the time period that we're dealing with here would be considered middle age. So we've walked through the prenatal time, birth through exploratory, 
teenager, time of taking care of children. You might be a parent, you might be a teacher, you might be an aunt or an uncle. That's the earth time. So right through the, oh, maybe right up to 40 something. Your metal time, hopefully at middle age, you've now become excellent at something, we hope. And so the other word is, when we talk about to having or being gold, it's the quality of excellence. So you might be an excellent cook. You might be an excellent parent. You might be an excellent teacher. Now, of course, if you're starting something new, you have to walk the wheel again. But for those things that you've done for a long period of time throughout your life, uh, for instance, I'm a body worker, by this time, I'm excellent at my craft. I better be. I put 30-something years in it. So it would be, hopefully, I'm, I, I know a little bit of what I'm doing. Okay? So they would say, in terms of if you were to go for the Olympics, you could be the Olympian body worker. So it's no accident that the Olympic athlete who is excellent, whether it be in swimming or, or running or skiing or any of the events, skate, uh, I don't think they do skateboarding, Ski, uh, uh, what's the uh, snowboarding, snowboarding. Those people are excellent at their craft and, and what do we give them to show the people that have the highest reward, a gold medal, okay? So hopefully you've got a gold medal in something, okay? Even in your own mind, even if your family doesn't recognize it, you have the imaginary gold medal on yourself. Um, so we talked about the storyteller. So this is also the storyteller, the family or the village historian. And why would we put this with metal? Metal or mineral? Anybody have a thought on that? Why would we put this? This seems a little odd, doesn't it? Well, if we're talking about gold, it's very valuable. It's valuable. It's been around forever. It's been around forever, and who holds the story? The, 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 the rocks. The rocks. The rocks and the minerals. Okay, they say they say the native people say, and and this includes all the indigenous people, whether it's Native Americans or Africans. They say that the rocks hold the bones of our ancestors, and you could pick up a rock around the world, and if it draws you, listen to its story, because it may be telling your story, and may actually be telling your family story, even if it's halfway around the world. <coughs> So this, this is why. Of course, we have the things of what's valuable. Our paper money is not that valuable, when you, but when you talk about a gold coin, much more valuable. 